This video is sponsored by Professional Photographers of America. One of these two photos was taken with a $5,400 full frame camera setup, while the other was taken with a $648 vlogging camera with a tiny one inch sensor. Look at them very closely. Which one do you think was taken with the more expensive setup, image A or image B? Think about it really carefully. And before we continue, I want you to pause the video really quick and leave your answer in the comment section. If you're not entirely sure, let me give you some clues. The full frame setup was the Sony a7R4 with their 24 to 70 millimeter G Master lens. The vlogging camera was the Sony ZV-1. Just for reference, the a7R4 has a 61 megapixel sensor while the ZV-1 rocks a 20.1 megapixel sensor. That means that one of these images was not only taken with a camera setup that costs several thousand dollars more, but one image literally has three times the number of pixels, which should make the answer obvious. Or does it? Hold on to your answer for a moment and let's take a look at one more comparison. A couple of weeks ago, I took a $4,600 full frame camera setup against the same $648 camera that's marketed as a vlogging camera. This time around, I asked my audience here on YouTube, in the community tab, as well as on Instagram to leave their thoughts on which camera took each of these images. And the results weren't what I was expecting. You see, there's this argument in the photography community that when it comes to taking a great photo, it's not about the camera. It's all about the photographer's skill behind the camera. After taking over 100,000 portraits at this point in my career, I could agree to some extent, having an expensive fancy camera and lens isn't going to make up for a lack of photography skills and technique. You can't buy your way to greatness, right? There are photographers out there rocking their cell phones to take award-winning images, while other photographers might have tens of thousands of dollars in professional photography equipment, and they can't even get a couple of likes on social media. If it's true that you don't need expensive photography equipment to take a great image, then why is it that so many of the top photographers out there are using these cameras and lenses that cost several thousand dollars when they could use a simple camera setup and save a ton of money in the process. Before we answer this question, I wanted to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, PPA and their signature annual event, Imaging USA 2022, which is being held in National Harbor, Maryland. I'll be leading two pre-convention events, which you could sign up for on their site. But beyond that, the conference itself runs from January 16th through the 18th, and it features over 100 educational sessions from 80 plus speakers from across the photography community. You'll have the opportunity to meet other photographers, learn new business and technical skills, and try out the latest photography products at the expo. You have two ways to register. The first is to join PPA and go for free for your first year of membership, or you can register for Imaging USA alone for only $99. Click the link in the description of this video to get your ticket to the hottest photography show of 2022, Imaging USA, and hopefully we'll run into one another there. Back to the topic at hand, why do professional photographers choose to use expensive equipment over the more affordable stuff on the market? I'm gonna answer this by giving you a bit of an analogy. Let's say you wanted to go to work and you have the option of either driving a car or riding a bicycle to get there, and it's several miles away. Now, both methods of transportation are going to get you to the same place, but each one has their own pros and cons. Driving a car would be far more comfortable, uh, protect you from whatever weather situation is happening, but in exchange, you will likely have car and insurance payments, along with maintenance costs, fuel costs. With a bike, you could save a ton of money since you don't have the same kind of expenses as you would with a car, but it does take some work physically to get you where you're going. And unless you have a super fast bike, which is probably gonna cost you a lot of money, it will probably take you longer to get there compared to a car. Yes, it's true that both modes of transportation will get you where you need to go, but the process of getting there is different. I think this is the same thing when it comes to using pro quality equipment versus using some of the more affordable options out there. It's not to say that you can't take an image with a cheaper setup that rivals a more expensive one. 
I think we kind of proved that in some small way comparing the images from the beginning of the video. Both of the images as presented on social media were relatively similar, but the road to creating the image was made a bit easier using the more professional setups. Not only that, but getting those results consistently, which I personally believe is the true mark of a professional, is made much easier when you have the best camera gear at your disposal. This narrative of it's not about the camera, it's about the photographer, it is true, but at some point, that photographer will produce marginally better images more efficiently over time when they use better gear. Handcuff that same photographer and give them a camera setup with limited tools, and you'll get results like the ones we looked at earlier. Both of these images look relatively similar since they were taken with the same lighting and camera settings. The image on the right was taken with the $648 vlogging camera, while the one on the left was taken with the $5,400 setup. Did you guess correctly? What about these two images? This time, the one on the left was taken with the ZV-1, and the one on the right was taken with the A7R4 that was paired up with the Sony 135mm f1.8 G Master lens. I could tell you in both instances, I personally prefer the look of the images from the full frame cameras that I used, but if I was starting out and I didn't have the budget to afford them, I could 100% create a similar quality of images, albeit with a little bit more work. I gave you my side of the story, now I wanna hear from you. Do you believe that it's all about the camera when it comes to taking a great image? Or is the answer a little bit more nuanced like I discussed? Let's have a civil conversation about this in the comment section. Subscribe and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And if you wanna learn more about photography, YouTube thinks that you should check out this video that you see here on the screen. I'll see you there.